Vital, now in a brand new pack. Yes, I know you're dying to hear about it, and so are we. And I know that lots of people, especially on Facebook, missed her terribly. But she is back now, Andrea De Pussy, vital expert for you to ask any questions. But the question we want to ask now is you recently went to I Iceland. Which That's is right. A great trip. Why did you decide to go to Iceland? What was the whole thing there? Well, um, I love traveling, and I've been looking at unusual destinations. And Iceland definitely is a very unusual destination. True, true. And I love nature, and I have a great personal interest in geology. Mm -hmm. So, um, in terms of um, geology, and volcanoes and all of that, Iceland is definitely worthwhile visiting. So you definitely didn't go mushroom hunting, were you? Then... I did find one. You found mushrooms <laughs> in Ireland? Oh my word. Okay, okay. Well, we'll talk about those later. Tell us about some of the highlights that you experienced there, because when you came back, you were just brimming from ear to ear. Yes, absolutely. You know, um, one of the highlights was um, visiting the one of the volcanic areas, with yeah. the whole island is a volcanic island, yeah. but um, we actually climbed um, up um, one of the volcanoes and um, swam in a crater and it was extremely cold that morning I think it snowed that night yeah. and we actually were able to swim in the volcano crater because there's a pool of water which is naturally heated yeah. by the magma under the earth. It's like an earth so, spa. So that was truly amazing. Oh so, my word, yes. I think those are pictures of it right there. We're actually seeing uh, images of you in Iceland. Was this an active volcano that you were walking Well, Well, um, no, 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 that's, that's luckily not an active volcano. Um, but the, the landscape is just so beautiful and um, the one thing, is, it, they are beautiful pictures but it's a lot to take in and we also walked over a, a field of boiling mud. Um, that's a, sort of a tourist attraction so obviously there are safe areas where you can go and see that. Yeah. But it's absolutely amazing to see nature happening and right steam and mud coming from the earth, so yes, and it's I, really beautiful. I also believe that, I mean, what you also got to see was um, volcanic lava actually forming new earth kind of thing, is it? Well, um, with, with the mud, definitely, yes. but not, not flowing red lava, unfortunately. <laughs> and also, I think they just showed a picture. We had a great privilege. We did a hike for two weeks, but yes. we had a four by four bus that could handle the terrain and also carry our luggage with, wow. with, with it. Little red so bus. So we didn't, yeah, it's a big red bus. <laughs> so um, we didn't have to take all our luggage on our backs every single day. So that was fantastic. It was a great, great privilege. Yes. How was it surviving the temperatures there? Because it, it is pretty cold, right? Well, if you know me, you, you'll know that I don't handle cold really well. Yeah. So I was dressed in layers and layers of clothing, but I got good advice before I left, yes. so I was well prepared. And there was only one morning that I really thought this is too much for me. <laughs> you so. see, what Andrea is, is kind of forgetting to mention, by the way, can you hear that wind outside? It's crazy. But what she's forgetting to mention is she told me when she came back that she had at least two bars of chocolate every single you know, day. <laughs> you're not allowed to this is that. Andrea, what is going on? Health, health expert, yeah. two bars of But I mean, obviously it was all I... for, for kind of, uh, you know, keeping up your energy reserves, yes. right? Look, we exercised every day. So we were walking every day between four and sometimes up to eight hours. <gasps> and it's cold as well. So um, I was sort of really planning to eat very healthily. But <laughs> they did offer us chocolates. And what can you say? You're cold and hungry. And yes, it, it was a, a wonderful experience. <laughs> Amazing stuff. So when, if, if you had to just say, you know, what, the one thing that you'll take from it, I'm, I mean, go from this trip, what would it be for you? It was an amazing privilege to um, explore yeah. an unusual landscape with a very special group of people. We had a fantastic guide that um, gave us so many insights about the history and the culture, nature, the environment. Mm -hmm. And I was very privileged to travel with a fantastic group of people. And wow. we celebrated my birthday on the trip. Wow. And they organized a party for me and had a cake bake and everything. So it was really the, my dream holiday come true. That is so cool. Any, any other weird destinations coming up for you in the future? Well, I would love to go to the Galapagos Islands mm. and Patagonia. So I think those are on the list. But I think um, it will be a few years of saving up to <laughs> do that. <laughs> and so, on that one you'll take muesli with you and not chocolate, right? I, I, I did have vital muesli <laughs> every day. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Well, we're so glad that you enjoyed it, but it's, it's even better to have you back with us. And I'm sure that everyone at home is also happy to have you back. Well, it's great to be back. Thanks. And of course, you know where you can reach on Facebook, Andrea Duplessy, Vital Experts. Mm. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back. Vital, now in a brand new pack.